Hello and welcome to my video. Mr.net is here and this is video number 13 of the Sudoku tutorial. In the previous videos we create a Sudoku or a random Sudoku game and in this game we want to implement the last functions so that we can play with this game. The first thing what I have to do, if I open my main scene and I start the game. If I click the easy button, I have this Sudoku field. And if I click the... Oh, and if I click the hard button, I have also the same game. So the first thing what we do is we implement the... That we can decide how many numbers will be removed from the Sudoku game. So I go into my scripts and I open the English Sudoku generator. And we have here the remove some random numbers. And we have to replace this value here. With this value we can decide how many values we return from the Sudoku field. So we implement also game settings. We call it the English mm, the English Sudoku game settings. And when we click a number from the main scene, easy, middle or hard, we set here a number. And based on this number, we decide how heavy the game will be. So in my Sudoku generator, in the remove some number component I implement a new value I call it the end value index is 0 or is 10 that's enough so if the English game setting dot easy middle number is 1 then I clicked the easy button and my end value index is 71 so I remove only 10 numbers I copy this line and paste it here and if I get the number 2 I click the middle button and I delete 20 values so now I have to replace this value here with end value index. I save the script and open Unity. Now I start the game. I click the easy button. I removed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I removed more than 10 fields. I click the middle button, okay, I click the hard button and I get an exception. Okay, so the point is if I want to reduce my Sudoku field less than 10 values and I use this index for each loop here. The problem with this for each loop is that when I have the search index number 2, when i is 1 and j is 2, this, this if statement is true. If i is 1 and j is 2, this if statement is also true. So we have to implement something that this statement is only reached one time in both loops here. So I implement a boolean, I call it is first, first is first, that's okay, I say true. And when j multiply one the same like this index and is first then do this 
and I say is first is false. Now I save the script, I open Unity and start the game. So I start an easy game. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We see I remove more than 10 numbers. If I click the middle button, I remove some numbers and if I click the hard button, we see that we remove only on the right upper side the numbers. Okay? And we have to replace something in our source code that this never happened. So I clear my console, I open the script and this is because we get here values. And when we are in this loop, we start with column. And the column multiply with that matches this index. So I cannot increase the row. So we have to use here other values. We have to use here a tuple, which is in system. So you have to implement using system. Then we can use the tuple from type integer values, integer values. So we have two integer values. And this method, our get values method, has also to return the tuple. Okay. And now we don't have to add a single value in this list. Our values starts from 0, smaller than 9. Also, j starts from 0, smaller than 9. And in the list, we insert a new tuple, i and j. So I save this. I can collapse it. Now I have here a list with my row and column indexes. So I don't need these two loops here. I delete these loops. Then I don't need this boolean here. When I get here a random index, I get I don't get an index. Yes, I have to get an index. But this item here is not an integer value, it is a tuple. Okay, so I have to format this. Also, this line is for nothing, so I delete the if statement here. I don't need this line. Well, then we see that we set the next Sudoku object, the value on this position. But this position, we have this position in our search index. So the search index dot item one is our row and the search index item two is our column. What's wrong? Oh, okay. I import this using system and we have a random also in system. So I use here Unity Engine random. Now we have this type also in other methods. So I have in my insert random group also this random. I use here Unity Engine random. And I have also in create random groups a random. Unity Engine random. 
unity engine random and unity engine random okay well now back in our remove some random numbers method I have here my index my tuple I remove the indexed the index sorry I remove the index after this so no nope, not after this I remove it here okay I try to mm -hmm, that's the same that's the same that's also the same okay I think that's okay I save the script and now I open unity and I start my game so I click easy okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I remove eleven numbers why ever I click middle one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen eighteen nineteen twenty two and I remove twenty one values okay and when I click hard yes okay I think that's okay yes it is one value more because I have here smaller than the end values so if I click in my game the easy button I remove 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 yes and when I click middle I remove 21 and when I click hard I remove a lot of until our rules are not damaged so and the next point is if I want to play the easy game we see I can only insert one number 1 2 3 4 5 6 the number 7 but if I try to insert another number it does not work because we have some implementation failures in our script I can only implement the number 7 so we open our script and we go to the English game in this script and in this script we have the click on control prefab method and inside this method we have a if statement which we try which we use to try if we can insert a possible number so we delete this if statement oh Okay, I save this, I open Unity and start the game. Now if I click this game here, yes, in this row 1, 2, I can only insert the number 3, but now I can insert each number. Okay, and the next point what I want to implement is a button to click and when I click this button I compare my game with the solution and for that we are create in our scene in our English game scene canvas main panel right click a new button And this button is my finish button and the text is finish finish okay then I go back to my script 
and inside my English game script I have to implement a new method I call this method the public void on mm, click on underline finish and this method would be invoked by my button and what I have to do is to compare the current game with my final object. If we look to the English Sudoku generator our create Sudoku object returns only one object and that's our game object. But what we need is also the final object so I change this method to a void method and I have two return values that's not the prefabs that the English Odoku object the first is the final final object object and the second one is the game object and my final object is my English Sudoku object here so the final object is the English Sudoku object and my game object is the object which I get from this remove some random numbers method and the return statement I can delete now I save this I go back to my English game and now in my create Sudoku object method we see this failure because I have two out arguments out English English Sudoku game object the final object And I also have a out English Sudoku game object, the game object. And now I have to say I rename the current Sudoku object to game object. I copy this line and I create a underline final game final object and here I have to say the game object is my game object this one here and the final object is my final object this one well okay and now I can use the final object to compare my solution. So if I click the finish button, I have to compare my field with the final object. But the final object contains also values, but the field contains also values which are placed from the game when I create the Sudoku object so I have to ask for each value for each row and for each column and we have a dictionary with our English field prefab object and this English field prefab object has as a key a new tuple with row and column so I get a English field prefab object field object is that 
So if underline English field object, no, if field object dot is changeable because when I generate my field in my create Sudoku object method, if I set a number from the beginning in the game, I set this variable is changeable to false. So I don't have to compare this value, okay? So if this value is changeable, the user can modify it and I have to compare it. So if final object dot values row and column and now I need the number and the number is in our field object so if I open the script English field prefab object I have the method set number and when I set this number I create a new integer value I call this the number and inside this method I can say number is number I save this script I go back to my English game and now I have to compare if the field object dot number is the same value like in the final object then this is true otherwise I insert the wrong value so and when I insert the correct value I want to change the number of the field to green and if the value is false I want to change the number to red so I open the English field prefab object and implement two methods a public void change color to green and also a method public void change color to red And now we know that the set hover mode here has a method which change the color of the of the field prefab of my instance. So change color to green. I use here Unity Engine color dot green. Then I copy this, and here I use the color red. I save the script, go back to my English game, and now I can say here field object dot change color to green or field object change color to red. Now I save the script, I open Unity, then I go to my English main scene, don't forget to save, and I start the game. I click the easy game and I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here is the number 7. That's okay. And I paste here the number 1 and that's obviously wrong. Okay. And then I click finish. And nothing happens because in my English game script I forgot to attach the method. To the button so I click here finish button drag the event system to the on click object here and use the click on finish method save the script go to the English main scene and start the game I click easy then I you search one two three four five here is the number five that's okay and inside this is also the number one but I use the number eight okay and that's wrong 
and I click finish and we see this value is ok and this value is wrong and these values are empty they are also wrong ok that's it with the tutorial mm, hopefully I explained unity and the sudoku algorithm well for you please give me a feedback or subscribe my channel so my channel can grow and yes hopefully i see you in the next videos bye